Hello, in this video we will rig our character so that we can bend and pose our character in different ways and ultimately set it up for character animation. We will use the Rigify add-on in Blender to achieve this quickly. If you'd rather get the full model and other assets from this series, grab it from this link here. Ok, so let's get started. Uh, with this model here, I want to go ahead and go into File, User Preferences, and under Add-ons I'm going to type in Rigify. And then just uh, check Rigify, and we're pretty much ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, change where this origin is to uh, to where the feet is. I'm just going to type into edit mode and just move the character up until it's in line with the ground, like so. This is important because when you do things like walk cycles and things like that, the rig will need to have. Uh, this root bone right at the the, the center of where the feet is. Uh, from the side view, I'm just going to move it. Sorry, from the side view, I'm just going to move it along the y-axis so that it's at around about where the root is. Actually, just yeah, about here. I think that's a good place to put it. Okay, and I'm just going to quickly grab the eyeballs, just the one that will be rendered. Select the eyeballs and. Um, I'm just going to move it in edit mode. Actually, no, I'm just going to move it in object mode to its actual place. And then side view, grab Y, grab Z. And just fit it in place. So if I turn off the eyeball, uh, it should fit like so. So to actually add our rig, I'm going to go ahead and save this. To actually set up our rig, all you need to do is press Shift A, add an armature, human meta rig. Yeah, human meta rig. You can also choose armature basic, basic human meta rig, which is just a basic boring one. But uh, I want to take advantage of the, um, the facial rig. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and um, use that one. In this uh, series, I'm not going to focus on facial rigging as much, uh, purely because there's too much to cover. I will cover that in the premium course, however. Um, but I think this is just a little bit too heavy to cover in this, in this series. So. I'm going to uh, just show that part in time lapse, but I'll just show you how to rig the main body itself. Okay, so what I did is in, uh, what I just did right now is in um, edit mode, I scaled all of this down. Don't scale it in object mode because we want to keep the scale 1, 1, 1. Um, it's, there's, it's just the way, I think if you if you change this the scale in object mode like this, it will stuff up the rigging. So it's important that you keep it scaled in edit mode only okay and also while i'm here with the rig i want to go into the armature settings the data tab and turn on x-ray so that we can see through the mesh first of all we want to, everything to happen on one side to be automatically mirrored to the other side so i'm just going to check x-axis mirror so that we save half the time when it comes to rigging okay so with that bone selected with the uh, the upper arm i'm just going to go ahead and press shift s cursor to select it and then all i'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select everything here and uh, rotate. Make sure you, you your pivot point is set to 3D cursor and not median point. Uh, after that, I'm just going to rotate and put it in place like that. Uh, the only reason why I'm doing that is because I want to keep the bone roll um, consistent. Uh, you, again, it's a bit, a bit of an advanced topic, but uh, I will cover that more in the premium course. You don't need to know too much about that stuff. Okay, so with that done, I'm now I'm just going to position uh, the arms at the relevant areas of the body. Okay, so it looks good. Shift S, cursor to selected. I'm just going to rotate this. If you want to be ultra perfect, you can, you know, you can go into the the original rig select the loop like so and then go shift s cursor to selected that'll put it right in the middle of that that 
put the cursor right in the middle of that loop and then go back into the rig and then select that joint shift s selection to cursor so that will pop it right in the middle of the arm but um, for me i'm just going to eyeball it to the general location but if you want to take some time to do that i i highly recommend you do that because it means your rig will end up looking will end up deforming more correctly okay so i'm just doing this now for the the wrists as well selection the cursor but be careful not to do it too much because um you may end up breaking one of the bone rolls okay we don't have two we don't have um, four fingers here so i'm going to go ahead and delete uh, Delete the ones we don't need. So I think just these two will be enough. Um, just gonna go ahead and RZ and move that in place. Okay, not so important. Okay, good enough. Cool. Okay, so the arms are done. I'll do the same with the legs. I just want to select that, shift S cursor to selected. Let's select all of this and just rotate it. Just to maintain more of that bone uh, preservation. Oh, actually, sorry. I'll just move this like so. Feet are firmly planted there. I think that's a pretty good starting point. Move these legs a little lower. Uh, this will be where the hip joints will be. So let's select those bones there and push it down uh, to around about where the hip joints, so where the V shape is. Just Add something that looks like that from the side view it's looking okay and as long as for these four bones as long as they evenly spaced like that that's good that's good enough uh, the shoulders the chest make sure that the chest muscles uh, are lined up right about there Okay, that's okay. The neck. I think it should be fine. Grab Y. Yeah, I think that should be fine. So the rest of the body I'm quite happy with. For the feet, we'll just do some quick tweaks. For the feet, we'll do some quick tweaks. I might just move that one. Sorry, I might just move this one forward. So that lines up about there. Yeah, I think that's okay. And then for this one, yeah, as long as it's behind the heel, that should be good enough. Maybe I might position this one right where the middle of that loop is. Shift S. Cursor to selected. Shift S. Selection to cursor. Just to be a bit more accurate. And for the most part, I think that's good enough. Might do the same for this one as well, I guess, just to be consistent. Shift. This is where the, the knee joint is. I Think. Sorry, no, it's meant to be this one. Shift S, 
request selected. Shift S selection to cross cell. Not necessary, just being a little bit uh, a little bit of a perfectionist by doing that. Okay. For, for the face, this is not our real focus, so I mean if you want you can delete the face uh, if you don't like if you, if you don't care about that stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly uh, do a basic um, one in time lapse. If you want to know how to do a face, there, there, there is a tutorial on YouTube done by the makers of the Pichipoi rig. So search up Pichipoi on YouTube and um, Pichipoi Rigify uh, rigging add-on. If you search one of the videos, I might provide a link down in the description below. You can find out how to rig the face of the character. But I want to now show this in time lapse, so um, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so at this stage, I would say it's uh, the rigging. The, so the the positioning of the meta rig is done. So we've now matched up each of the bones to uh, the body parts. So we've now matched up each of the bones to the corresponding body parts, so that it encases the uh, the retopologized body completely. Uh, we've done the same for the face. Uh, if you want to copy that setup, that's what it looks like from the front view. That's what it looks like from the side view. Now we're going to actually create the rig itself. Now generally the rigging process would usually take a very very long time if you were to do it manually but luckily the Rigify makes all of that very simple for us. All we need to do is under the armature tab or the data tab of uh, Blender make sure that your rig is selected. Uh, go to the data tab and under Rigify buttons just click generate rig and you may have to wait about 10 seconds or so uh, okay, that was, that was pretty quick, about five, three or four seconds, and you'll get the full rig all set up and ready for us. So now we can just get rid, well not get rid, but we can sort of move this uh, meta rig to one of the layers that we don't need to see. So maybe we'll just chuck it in that one. And now we have the full rig here ready and set up for us. How good is that? But it doesn't, so if I go into pose mode of this uh, new rig, we can now pose our rig, but obviously you don't see the uh, the character being posed along with it. That's because we still haven't uh, parented this uh, retopologized body to the rig, so that we need to do that about now. So to do that, all you need to do is select the your uh, character, and then shift right click select the rig last. Then you just go uh, Control P. Uh, armature deform with automatic weights. So now when I go into pose mode, the character should uh, pose as expected. So it's looking better. The eyes are not following because I still haven't paired to the eyes yet, but the rest of the character looks like it's bending quite nicely. Yeah, so now our character can bend and pose uh, pretty realistically. And you can even squash and stretch. Perfect for cartoony characters as well. So I think that is looking pretty awesome so far. Uh, let's test out the legs. If I rotate this, yeah, that is looking pretty cool. That is great for walking. That is a pretty handy tool. Perfect. So um, let's check out the hips. Oh, sorry, let's rotate it from median point. Yeah, that's looking good. Let's give our character a bit of a dance. Perfect. So the actual rig itself is quite nice. Okay, so now let's just pair the eyes to the eyeballs, to the eye holes. If I move the eye or placeholder, it does nothing. So to actually parent the eyes, I want to hide the eyeball placeholder for now and bring out the eyeball itself. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and select sorry, the eyeball and then tab into edit mode, select the smaller sphere and then 
Uh, I want to select the loop that's right on the middle, on the side view, right on the middle. Press Shift S, cursor to select it, like so, and um, tab out. That's all I need to do. Now I need to go into the rig, the rig itself. Uh, open one of the layers. I'm not sure which layer it is. This layer here. So I want to go ahead and hide this character. I'm going to just quickly hide the eyeball itself and look for the master eye.l. Select all of that. Press Shift S, selection to cursor. Oops, why is it doing that? Oh, we don't want to select this side. Uh, Shift S, selection to cursor. And I'll do X axis mirror for this. So Shift S, selection to cursor, so that it gets reflected on the other side as well. Let's bring out the eyeball again. Uh, and we might go ahead now and uh, apply the mirror and Alt H, select uh, both of these, select one of the eyeballs, actually let me say this one, just uh, box select that bunch there, press Control L to select that entire eyeball, press P by selection. So then now that becomes its own eyeball, uh, select this eye, which I'll call now eyeball.l, and this one will be eyeball dot r. I'm going to select the uh, L eyeball, shift right select mchi dot L, control P set parent to bone. So now the eye works the same. Perfect. So let's do the same to the other side. So with the other eyeball, I'm just going to select that eyeball, move this to the second layer, and then go to the first layer. I'll make sure that that eyeball is selected. Go to the first layer and shift right click and select mchi.r. Then all I'm going to do is simply press both these layers here. Control P, set parent to bone, not automatic weights. So select the, uh, uh, select the eyeball.r and make sure that it, under the object tab, the parent is set to rig bone mch.r. So now if I move uh, the eye controller, you can see that both eyeballs are moving. I'm going to do the same with the, the eyeball placeholders as well. So let's go ahead to eyeball placeholder, open it up, and I'm going to go ahead and apply the mirror. Sorry, apply the mirror. Type into edit mode, select this one, P by selection, and this one is going to be a parent of eyeball.r. And now we select the eyeball placeholder, not dot one but we'll call this eyeball.r, eyeball placeholder.l. Both of them are under the parent of eyeball.l. So let's now move one of them to eyeball dot. Let's now move the eyeball placeholder.r under eyeball dot r. So confusing the sound, but anyways, shift right click, sorry, shift and right click, shift right click and select this one directly in the outliner. Then I'm gonna go Control P, set object, keep transform. So now if I hide both of these, eyeball dot l. So if we bring back our character now and move our eyes around, we can see that our character is now looking at stuff. Perfect. So if we scale it up, we can make our character's eyes do weird things. That's freaky. But anyways, there we go. So that's it. You can now pose your character and even animate it now if you like. Your character is now ready to come to life. So in the next video, We'll texture and shade our character so that it will look awesome on screen. Note that you can download this model as well as other assets from this link here. Please do like, share, subscribe and all that stuff and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.